Oh, hey, yeah. Oh, it's Thursday. So, um, yes. we're Thursday just, afternoon. Yeah, even. yeah. We've had a little trouble getting ourselves ready to do the Thursday tip today. Um, it's <laughs> almost fall break time. Yay. Uh, I know everybody out there is, is feeling it. We're all ready for the break. Um, we usually do that crazy dancing around in the mornings too, but yeah, we um, really do. We just don't yeah, the yeah, on. yeah. So that we can get all enthusiastic for this lovely video. Um, we had a little bit of trouble this this week thinking of what we wanted to talk about for Thursday tips. So we decided we'd go with how to enjoy your fall break. Mm. Well, obviously, how to enjoy your fall break. Step one, get lots of rest because I know you're tired. I see you. Y'all are tired. Mm. We're tired. Mm. So get some rest. Enjoy. Uh, we're librarians, so we're going to tell you to read a book or two. I mean, just whatever. However many books you want to read. Come in tomorrow. Grab a book. Be ready in mm -hmm. case the urge to read strikes. Mm -hmm. You want to be prepared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yes. Maybe spend some time with friends and enjoy and relax. You got a whole week. Mm -hmm. It's a whole week of fall break. Right. Come back. Rare and to go. But if you, that book thing is intriguing to you, Miss Whitley's going to talk to you about a book challenge, a readathon to sort of get your motor running. Yes. Um, I participated in this a couple of times already. Um, in October and in April, there's a thing called Dewey's 24 hour readathon. Dewey's 24 hour readathon. And you can Google 24, yeah. Dewey's 24 hour readathon, um, or you can click the link that's going to be in the description for this video. It starts at 8 o'clock in the morning on October 22nd. So I'm sorry if you're taking the ACT. You can still do it when you're done with the oh, yeah. ACT, unless yeah, you're, of course, completely you know destroyed by the ACT, which hopefully <laughs> you won't be. No, you got um, this, right? Or you can go home, you can take a nap, and then you can get up and you can start this readathon. Because the nice thing about the readathon is it is a 24 hour window. Um, if you can read 24 hours, that's awesome and amazing. I've yeah. done that before, by the way. It's great, um, but exhausting. Or you can just read as much as you like. And you can go on Facebook and you can participate in this community of readers. There's a Facebook group for Dewey's 24 Hour Readathon. There are um, people participating on Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. It's Thursday. They're tweeting. We told you we're tired. They're tweeting <laughs> on, on Twitter. Twitter about it. <laughs> There's a hashtag, I'm sure, okay? Obviously. Um, Dewey's 24-hour reason. I can say that and not mess up. Anyway, um, Instagram, you can also find them on Instagram. I'm okay. going to be probably mostly Instagramming about it. Um, and don't forget, you can look at, you know, this, this, one this thing I can't say right now for some reason. Um, hashtag Canes Read. Also, um, one of the things that keeps you involved and not from you know keep you from falling asleep during the readathon is they'll do mini challenges. So they'll give you a little task every hour, a question to answer, a thing to do. Um, last time I had to build a reading fort and take a picture of it and post it. Um, so little fun things to kind of break it up a little bit. Um, if you would like to participate, all you got to do is Google again do a 24 hour readathon or click the link in the description you can sign up if you don't think you're going to have time to read you can sign up to be a cheerleader and you can encourage people you can you know you can tag us or hashtag us in a post <laughs> tag or hashtag or in, in and post something about you know yay go you read a bunch of books or whatever um so i'm excited about it if you're not excited about it, then I'm sorry, but, you know, I still am going to be, and you can be excited about whatever it is that you're doing that's exciting, and if you're not doing anything exciting, then maybe you should do this, because why not? Maybe there's that. Um, and you can also, you can, you can send us messages, um, you can post about what you're reading, irregardless of this readathon or not, yes. and just continue to remember that you, we're, we're there, we're out there, and... We don't disappear just because we go on fall break. Right. Yeah. People sometimes see us out in the world and they're like, you, like, grocery don't shop? live at the school? Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're I'm just going to go over here and get some purple. But anyway, um, do we have anything else? Is that no, it? I think that's no? it. Let's okay. One more day before for fall break. Just one more Hang in there. day. We got and this. And it's also homecoming. So Woo! we can get through this together. Okay. So. Have a nice rest of your week and fall break, and we will see you. I don't know if we'll do any. We probably won't do any videos during fall break because we're exhausted. So when we come back, exhausted. when we come back, 
we'll, we'll, we'll do some book talks. So. Yes, we yes. should have some books to talk. Should have lots of books to talk. Anyway. Have a good week, guys. Enjoy.